<sighs> Here we go again. Not again. Don't tell me. Not again. Welcome back guys, hope you're having an amazing Thursday, hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're looking at a sneaker that's highly anticipated, highly wanted, could be the sneaker of the year for 2022, but yet it fails the execution. Let's check this out. So welcome back guys, hope you're having an amazing Thursday, hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're going to have a look at a sneaker that, yes, yes, we need to talk about it. This is another Crimson 4 situation, this is another situation with Jordan Brand. But before we look into it, please do like, follow, subscribe, come and chat to me, let's have a conversation, let's break it down because it's always good to talk and I'm always going to keep it 100% real with you guys when something's out of place, when something feels odd, when something's not right, I have to mention it because today's sneaker we're looking at is, hey presto, bang, the UNC Jordan 6 and we're going in. So guys, as you see from the B-roll, that is the Jordan 6 UNC, gorgeous colour blocking, gorgeous colourway and represents one of my sneakers of the year, the Carmine 6s. This is so close to the Carmine 6s, but before we go into the sneaker, let's look at the box as we always do on this channel and then we'll talk about the sneaker itself. So hey presto, this is the Jordan 6 box, as you can see, it's got that UNC box cover with that white jumpman and the top lid is all UNC all the way through guys and this is how it should be and the back is all UNC up and down and then you've got that cement print under the box there look at that cement print and inside this box you should have cement paper there you go guys this came straight from the sneakers app trust me guys this is 100% legit as you can see the one half of it's got cement print the under half of it's just normal paper like a waxy on and wax off paper like Mr Miyagi says wax on wax off <laughs> but also introduced is we got this back again it is that QR code right at the top there and that actually says number 10. So if you guys know what this actual QR code or QC code means, let me know in the comments because I'm not sure what it says or what it means, but every sneaker supposedly has got code. My, one of my bros has got 16. I've seen others that got 12. This is a 10. I don't know what's wrong with it. It could be a code that's basically telling you the defect of that sneaker rather than the amount of defect. So I need to find out, probably we'll do some research. Probably, I'll probably talk about it on the Shoe Dog podcast a bit more, but that is number 10 on my actual Q code. Let me have a look again. It was number 10. This is number 10 on the Q code. And as you can see, straight off the bat, the box is damaged but who cares about a box because it's more important about the sneaker. But on the box itself, the code should read CT8529410. This is the Air Jordan 6 Retro University Blue, white and black. And that's the color coding and that's what the label should look like guys. So make sure your label looks like that and make sure it's not different than that. This came straight from the sneakers app. So I know this sneaker is legit. It's 100% legit because it came from the sneakers app. And right at the bottom, you should see that jump man at the top there and that writing. And obviously it does say Nike, Nike, swoosh, Nike. All the little logos that Nike have actually done with the Nike Air or Air Sole and that's what the writing should look. It's all that conventional writing on that box. But now, now the big question. Let's take a look at this sneaker. So it's sneaker time. So hey presto bang. This is what the sneaker looks like. As you can see, it's got that Carmine effect in that UNC colorway. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely amazing. This is one of the best sixes they've released in terms of the color blocking let's just get that right in terms of the color blocking 
absolutely gorgeous. This doesn't be the car mines to me, the car mines is OG level. The car mines is always gonna be superior to this UNC colorway. But guys, let me tell you, the materials on this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna go through the good stuff before I go through the bad stuff because I think you deserve to know the truth. So as you can see from this, the whole lever on this is plush. It is absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see on this lever, it is absolutely plush, absolutely plush. And the suede is this stroke action. Look at that stroke action. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there is some gorgeous, gorgeous stroke action there on this new buck on this sneaker. Absolutely gorgeous. Actually, you probably have to see it when I do this a bit more, if you can see that. It is so soft. You get so much quality on the upper. The upper is absolutely magnificent. Like even the tongue, itself has got this underneath panning just like the Bordeaux 6s that I actually got earlier this year. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous thing. And you've got this navy blue lace lock. Look at that, that navy blue lace with a jump man on and that UNC front panel. This sneaker is absolutely gorgeous. If it was executed right, and we're gonna go into that, if it was executed right, this would be potentially up there in my top five sneakers of the year. But at the back of this, you've got that label, that jump mat label. This is a new thing for all the college sneakers, for all the sneakers with those college affiliations. This is the UNC, we've had the Oregons, we've had those, what do you call it, um, Michigans that came out with that label, absolutely gorgeous. And it does say, quality products inspired by the greatest basketball player ever and it's got that team jordan sign gorgeous gorgeous i love this when they do this i love this but now <laughs> the question is what's wrong with this sneaker you're probably looking at this and saying why am i complaining about this sneaker well it's time to talk about it because there's a little bit of a black dot there for some reason okay cool number one number two but it looks like this sneaker was kind of painted by a five-year-old look at that midsole like that black leaking onto that white. Uh, there's so much glue stains on, on this sneaker. Like literally, there's glue stains and glue stains. I might pull, actually I might pull some photos up all the way through. It just, just kind of look at those photos as well as what I'm showing you. But also like the, the toe box has got glue stains all over it. Like there you go, if you can see that. Glue stains all over it. This, this side's not too bad, except for that black mark on that white, which I probably can remove because I have paint so I can remove it. But like in terms of this side, not too bad, not too bad. Like there, right there. Um, the more I look at it, the more I'm finding. Right there, you've seen this glue stain all over that black panel. Not too bad, not too bad, guys. But now this is this is this is the part. This is this is the sneaker that I'm shocked with at the moment. This side. Like, let me have a look. So, look down that line. You've got glue stains all over that. You probably see it better in the pictures. But then, the paint job on this black is so faded that you'll have to repaint this. You definitely have to repaint this. Uh, you've got cracking on that upper over there. Um, you might be think you might think I'm nitpicking, but I'm not really nitpicking. Like, and I'll tell you why. And there's, there's like this black strip needs to be repainted because some of it's faded. The glue on the back of this is horrendous. Like I'll show, like the pictures you'll be up there, but the glue on the back of this is horrendous, absolutely horrendous. Like how can you have so much glue? And look, like when I tell you, it's the separation. It's not glued down properly. There's some sort of sole separation on this. And it's brand spanking you. Like how? And look, the black is faded again. Like I've shown this again. The black is faded there. It's just so bad. Like, the, the uppers are absolutely gorgeous. The uppers are absolutely gorgeous. The midsole looks like a five-year-old painted them. I'm not even lying. Look, look, look at that. Look at the lines. The, the, some of the lines aren't even defined properly. The, some of the lines aren't even defined. I'm trying to look look for a line that's, look, it's not, it's not, it's, it's not finished. It's not really finished. It's, it just feels like an unfinished midsole. Really does. It really, really does. Like, I don't like complaining for the sake of it, but glue all over the inner part of that there. I just can't believe this ended up here like this. And the reason why I'm even more upset, look at the end of that. The reason why I'm more, more and upset on this sneaker is and in the inner part there, look. 
It's just paint. It looks like a five-year-old paint in this sneaker. Absolutely looks like a five-year-old paint in this sneaker. The uppers are immaculate. The uppers are so gorgeous. Handcrafted, the leather, the new book, absolutely gorgeous. Then they've just stuck this five-year-old painted sole or midsole on this sneaker and it just looks really bad, one side especially. And the reason why I'm even more upset is they've increased the price from 170 to like 190. This now costs 190. Like, and you're expecting some better quality, some better kind of colorways, um, some better look, levers, hands down, fine. But why do that to the midsole? Why do that to the midsole and actually give us, like you got black leap there. I'm even noticing new stuff. Like you got this, like that's not, that should be white up there. It shouldn't be black. It just leaked onto that white. They haven't painted this right at all. Um, you, like you're gonna say you won't notice it on feet, but you're paying more money for better quality and you're not getting better quality. You've seen it with the Crimson 4s. Now you're seeing it with these Jordan 6 UNCs. When are, when are you gonna turn around? Or when are we gonna sit there and say, this is not right, this is totally not right. And look, glue stones all over the place here. Glue stones all over this sneaker at the toe box. Like, it happened with the Travis Scott's fours. It ha it's happening with it. Every UNC colorway we're getting doesn't seem right. The threes were fine. The UNC ones are terrible in terms of glue stains everywhere. Now we're seeing it with the UNC sixes. We saw all the, how bad the crimson fours were. It's such a gorgeous sneaker. I want to love it so much, but I can't because the more I see this, the more it upsets me. I need to go and repaint this. The more I see this, the more it upsets me. And I'm, I'm like, I paid 190 for this sneaker when it should have been like 150 or 140 because this is not worth nine. It's like almost like a B grade. This is almost like a B grade. So that's my feelings, guys. Like absolutely not not heartbroken, but absolutely disappointed with the with the execution. It's almost like a Jordan 4 Crimson situation. I don't want to hate it. I love the colorway. I love the sneaker itself. I love the six. But the midsole, nah, 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 nah. I need to do some retrofit work to make it work for me because I'm not here. I can't sit here with not having crisp edges, with having black paint spilling on a white midsole. It has to, it has to look better, it has to do better for me. And as I said, I did post those pictures up. If you've seen, that gives a better reflection of what I'm actually seeing in hand. You might not see it in the camera, but you, this is what I'm seeing in hand. And this is why I'm like, nah, this is not right. This is definitely not right. But like I do on this channel, I'm gonna give you that front perspective. I'm gonna give you that back perspective. I'm gonna give you that lateral side. I'm gonna give you that medial side. I'm gonna give you that soul. And I'm gonna make it 12. I'm gonna absolutely make it 12. Absolutely make it 12. Good, good colorway. Good levers on the upper, they backfired or absolutely lost it on that midsole because somebody didn't get the attachment to the midsole correct on this sneaker for the upper. And on top of that, the paint's all over the place, glue's all over the place, no crisp edges. Like, I'm just, I'm keep, I'll keep noticing. Even here, look at that, guys. Look, look at that. This is this is what I'm getting at. Is you're, I'm expecting better for more, the more money I pay. Um, yeah, it's not good. It's not good. But overall, I want to love this sneaker. I really do want to love this sneaker. I really, really look like on the uppers. Can you see that? I've just noticed it. Like it's flaking. Like why is it flaking? I don't understand. It's, I'm gonna put this down before I actually actually get annoyed. I'm gonna put this down there and leave it there, guys. But I hope the execute like the execution should be better. I hope you wouldn't brand it out because if you're paying that extra money, I know COVID, I know shipping, I know delays, I know all of that stuff, but you can't come into the new year and give us Crimson Fours and give us Jordan Sixes. I know this is not the only pair that's got issues with it. I know this is not the only pair that's got something wrong with it. And I know I've talked to the bros. Some of them are actually getting their pairs now. Some of them got them pairs yesterday when I was recording this. I need to find out how their quality is because the pairs aren't looking great at the moment. And this gives me an indication that this is a bigger GR than we actually think. So there will be more pairs available in the long run. So if you're trying to pay that resale, be careful when you pay that resale. If you have the option to pick up sneakers, make sure you check the sneaker before you get it. Make sure you do your thorough, thorough inspection of that sneaker to make sure there's nothing wrong or defective with it. And make sure you don't pay over the odds for a sneaker like this that has things wrong with it. 
I'm still gonna wear it. I'm still gonna actually modify it to make it look right, better to my aesthetics that I want it to, and then I will wear it. But guys, just, um, I wish Jordan Brand and Nike would do better because we're paying more money for sneakers that they're selling us. But as I say, don't get conned. Make sure you actually have the chance to see the sneaker in hand before you buy it. Make sure you don't pay over the odds for the sneaker. The prices aren't that high in terms of the resale. I think the resale is doing about £130, which is about $270. So if you want that sneaker, make sure you actually have a chance to see it in hand before you buy it. But retail, as I said, was $190. We're still paying more money for our sneakers for same quality that we were getting before so i'm hoping that situation gets sorted out because we want to see better quality for more money and more actual expenses we pay on the sneakers so i'm hope that's better but in terms of the colorway i'm gonna give it a four goats out of five yeah i'm gonna give it four goats out of five because I would have given it five goats or a super goat, but it let me down. Like in my review for March sneakers, I gave this a super goat. I was highly anticipating the sneaker to be absolutely gorgeous, absolutely amazing. Something that I really, really would have picked up and given one of the best sneakers of the year, but I can't do that at this moment in time because the quality on the midsole just doesn't allow me to go above four goats out of five. So that's my rating for the sneaker, guys. And I hope, hope I gave you enough information and guidance to go and pick up the sneakers carefully. <laughs> carefully guys but like i normally say at the end of the video i hope you have an amazing week amazing month and an amazing year because we always keep it real here we always try and give you the information and the right advice to pick up the sneakers because i hope you all cop the sneakers you want because you all deserve to get the sneakers you like from me tj at love keeps customs peace out for now guys peace